Hello, welcome back to English 3, Unit 3, Part 2, with me, Professor Neil, and my TA, Yonghee. Hello, TA Yonghee, back. Yep, back for some plans, talking about past plans, present plans, future plans. Are you ready for a meeting, Yonghee? Meeting is okay. Uh, even though it's Saturday. No. Who wants to have a meeting on Saturday? Oh, no one, but apparently this team... They are a diligent, hard-working team, and their boss has called them in for a meeting. Ah, boss called. Yeah. That's why. Everyone had plans for Saturday afternoon, but the boss called a meeting. So oh, Terrible, yes. terrible they boss. They made plans, but the boss has called them in. So, we have Luke first. What was Luke going to do before the boss called him in for a meeting? Before the boss called him in for a meeting, he was going to go for a jog. Mm, now his plan changed. Yeah, what is he doing now? Uh, he's in the meeting. He's having a meeting. Oh well, poor Luke. So we're going to go round. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you questions about each person at, at the meeting. Though they look surprisingly happy for a Saturday meeting. They are very good at faking their faces. Yeah, they're really making bosses the... there. Yes. All right. So let's ask the questions. And Yonghee answer the questions. Talking about what was future of plans, but plans that have changed. Mm. So it's like be going to, but uh, happened in the past. So mm. instead of uh, is or are, you have to use was or were going to, mm. because it happened in the past. They planned in the past, but not now. Yes. So what was Alan going to do? He was going to watch a TV series. Yes. Before the boss called a meeting. Mm. Alan was going to watch a TV series. I was going to watch a TV series before Professor Neil called me to do the recording. Yes, it was cancelled, cancelled. Your plans were cancelled, cancelled. Cancel culture. Let's move on to Peggy. You ask the question this time, Yong. What was Peggy going to do? She was going to stay in bed all afternoon. Yes, yeah, sounds excellent, but her plans changed. Her plans because changed. Because the boss called a meeting. What was Susie going to do? She was going to write a letter. But the boss called a meeting, so her plans changed. What was Nate going to do? He was going to do the weekend crossword. These people are very boring. <laughs> yeah, there's not much going on. They lead quiet lives. That's why they were uh, happier to be called in for meeting. Quiet lives. Yes, that might be so, Yongi. But let's check on Anna, see what she was up to. What was Anna going to do? Anna was going to read a novel. What was Vince going to do? He was going to take his sons to the park. And what was Claire going to do? She was meeting... She was going to meet friends for lunch. Oh, they were crossed out. So, those were plans. Past These plans. Past plans that changed for the future. So you're using the past to talk about... Past tense to talk about things that changed beyond them. Here, we're talking about things that are about to happen. About to happen. So they're closer to now. The ones in the meeting were in the past. These are almost happening now and are about to happen in the next minute or few minutes. Immediately. 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 So it's like, what's happening? In the first picture, what's happening? She's about to crash 
immediately. Now, she's about to crash. She's about to fall off her bicycle and crash. So, we have the other five. Yonghee, if you ask the question for the first two, then I'll ask you the questions for the second, the, the next three. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Uh, what's happening? It's about to rain, so I need an umbrella. What's happening? He's about to score! Yay! Ooh. Goal! England! Yes, best team Korea. in the world. Korea! Korea! Even better! Yeah. What's happening? She's about to leave. Bye bye! Bye bye! What's happening? Ooh, he's about to go to work. Well, the team before would have been very happy about that. What's happening? Ooh, she's about to have a baby. Congratulations. Congratulations. She'll feel much happier once it's finished. Good. Those were the speaking parts. And next part is the self-practice. But today with self-practice, we're going to let, give you a little bit of help because we're looking at the activities in Henry's schedule and we have to write answers using the same future forms in the questions. Uh, every time seems like a bit of work, our Kitty looks very sad. Yes, Kitty is just being quiet at the mm -hmm. moment. So we have the example here. When is Henry going to wake up? Look at the uh, list. And you can oh. see here, wake up, and it says 6, 6 a.m. He is going to wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. So we have our seven questions here about his schedule. So it says to use the same form, same future form. So here it was is going to, in the answer, uh, is going to. So to give you some help, I will read the questions, and Yonghee will read part of the answer and then you have to look at the schedule, Henry's schedule, to complete the answer. Are we ready? I'm ready. Good, we're ready. Let's go. What time will he meet Fred? He will meet Fred at 8 a.m. When does he give his sales presentation? He will give his uh, sales presentations at 10 a.m. What is he going to do after the sales presentation? He's going to have lunch with clients at 12. When is he returning to the office? He is returning to his office after lunch at 1 p.m. And what is he going to do in the afternoon? He is going to review the monthly sales figures from 3 to 5 p.m. Possibly, yes. Who is he having dinner with? He's having dinner with Kathy at 6 p.m. And the last one. What will he do in the evening? He will watch news on TV at 8 p.m. So much like Kitty, you want to uh, take notes. Take notes. Take... Right, right, right down, right down. Yeah. Let's move on. Classroom activity, we're going to leave till we come back to the classroom. We will do classroom activities when we return to the classroom. So now, we're going to do the listening. So Yongi and I are going to do the reading for you, in which you'll listen to Nora Friedrich talk about home technologies. Check the items you hear mentioned, then choose the best answer for each question. So, I'm going to be A, and Yonghee is going to be B. 
So Yongi's gonna be Nora, and I'm gonna be the interviewer. Okay, here we go. Listen up. Hi, Nora. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Everyone has heard how the Internet of Things will transform our homes in the future. Since you're a technology expert, can you give us some examples? Sure. A lot of smart devices already exist. With a cell phone or computer, you can easily control room temperatures with heaters and air conditioners. In fact, you can even control temperatures in your oven and refrigerator through Wi-Fi. Wow! What sort of innovations do you expect to appear soon? Mm, one thing we'll see is more integration across devices. I expect almost everything in your home will have digital controls. You will be able to program your TV, turn on your laundry machine, or run your dishwasher from anywhere inside or outside the house. Oh, that would make things easier. What else will change? Another major change will involve efficiency. Artificial intelligence AI is developing fast. Soon we won't need to manually control electronic devices. They will just turn on and off by themselves at optimal times. Mm. Some people are afraid of the changes ahead. Should we worry about any problems? Mm. The Internet of Things will make our lives easier, but it will also have risks. We will have to protect against the computer hacking and control companies' access to our personal information. Thank you, Nora. My pleasure. Okay, bye. Bye. So you probably will want to listen to that one more time. But first, we shall just go through some of the items in the picture. So, and the questions. Here, we have a... Laptop. Laptop. Computer. Laptop computer. Yes, and it's connected to the Internet of all things. What are these uh, uh, symbols for? Settings and Wi-Fi and remote connection Ooh, and two-way connection. Oh, that remote connection, two-way connection is probably very important uh, fact in this reading, right? Yes. Internet of Things. Mm -hmm. They call it IoT. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so what is this device over here? That it looks like a smartwatch. Yes. And it's connected to... Ooh, that computer. And what's in here? Well, that's a smartphone. Bottom left, we have the smartphone. And they're all connected to things. Ah, so they here, all have the same symbols, everything. Yes. So the idea is, the laptop, is it connected to the microwave? Yes. Is yes. it connected to the security cameras? Uh, it doesn't say, but uh, maybe. Right. Did she say if it's connected to these things? And then your smartphone, is it connected to the air conditioning? Same symbols. Uh, is that air conditioning or heating? Probably heating. heating. And then connected to the coffee maker and... Uh, air, that one is uh, air, air conditioner. conditioning. And then this smartwatch, mm -hmm. is it connected to the fan, mm -hmm. the dishwasher, mm -hmm. or the refrigerator? Mm. And the oven. All right. The oven, this is like your touchpad. Ah, uh, touch panel. Touchpad, okay. or your iPad, or your Galaxy mm. pad, which is connected to the oven, the washing machine, or refrigerator. Okay, so the top left section, laptop connected to microwave and uh, CCTV mm -hmm. and the uh, top right corner is about your smart pad connected to 
washing machine and oven and refrigerator and the uh, uh, bottom right smartwatch connected to dishwasher and fan mm -hmm. finally and the smartphone oh, refrigerator too smartwatch connected to refrigerator as well and finally on the left bottom corner a smartphone is connected to heater, heater and a coffee maker and air conditioner yes yeah, so listen to the reading again listen to Nora Friedrich talk about home technologies again and this time listen carefully for what is connected to the smart devices what is connected to your cell phone what is connected to your computer what is connected to your digital controls in your house right and what electronic devices are connected to what things professor neil shall we go through the questions first before we go second reading good idea good idea so who is nora friedrich is she a product designer or a technology expert so we need to focus to get the information about nora friedrich mm -hmm. What type of innovation does Nora expect soon? Mm. What innovation, what new technology yeah. Nora expects soon? So more interconnections between devices or better Wi-Fi access outside the house. Mm. And how will artificial intelligence change homes? AI change homes. Yeah. By making them more energy efficient, by introducing robot appliances. Mm -hmm. And that's it. What security concern does Nora mention? Product failures or computer hacking? Okay. Then we have more focused uh, listening yes. as per the questions. All right. So we're going to do the listening one more time. Listen to me and Yonghee read. And then afterwards, we'll go through the answers with you. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Nora. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Everyone has heard how the Internet of Things will transform our homes in the future. Since you're a technology expert, can you give us some examples? Sure. A lot of smart devices already exist. With a cell phone or a computer, you can easily control room temperatures with heaters and air conditioners. In fact, you can even control temperatures in your oven and refrigerator through Wi-Fi. Wow! What sorts of, sorts of innovations do you expect to hear about soon? Mm, one thing we will see is more integration across many devices. I expect almost everything in your home will have digital controls. You'll be able to program your TV, turn on your laundry machine, or run your dishwasher from anywhere inside or outside the house. That would make things easier. What else will change? Hmm. Another major change will involve efficiency. Artificial intelligence is developing fast, so we won't need to manually control electronic devices. They will just turn on and off by themselves at optimal times. Wow. Some people are afraid of the changes ahead. Should we worry about any problems? Hmm. The Internet of Things will make our lives, of course, easier. But it will also have risks. We will have to protect against computer hacking and control companies' access to our personal information thank you nora my pleasure bye bye so that was the listening with nora friedrich and we will just go over the answers in a moment so if you wish to check pause your computer 
check your answers and then come back when you're ready to check your answers. So let's go through the items that she first described that were connecting to the internet of all things. So first there was the computer which can connect to and then there's the smartphone she mentioned and she mentions the household controls. She does not mention the smartwatch. And things that she said it would connect to were heaters, air conditioner, dishwashers, the oven, the laundry machine, and the refrigerator. And so, Yongi, who is Nora Friedrich? Uh, she's uh, B, a technology expert. Very good. And what type of innovation does Nora expect soon? She expects more integration, which means interconnections between devices. Very good. And number three, how will artificial intelligence change homes? Uh, artificial intelligence will change homes by making them more energy efficient. Yes. Right. A. And finally, what security concern does Nora mention? Uh, she mentioned uh, two security concerns. One is computer hacking, which is B. Yeah. And then the uh, second one was uh, companies accessing our personal information. Yes, which is something people worry about. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this listening of Homes of Tomorrow and discussing technology devices. Now we're going to move on to the last uh, pages of the unit, which are the reading and writing, and then the grammar review. So in the reading and writing, there are 10 questions. So I'm going to ask the question, and to help you, Yonghee is going to give her answers, for which we will show you some useful, helpful uh, ways to write and complete the questions. So here we go. Yonghee, are you ready? Yes. Are you going to spend more time tonight watching TV or texting? Mm, I will spend time... more time tonight... watching TV. Good. Will you check a social networking site after le leaving class? Mm, of course, I will check... Uh, my social networking site, Takato, okay, after good. leaving class. That's good. Do you ha have a favorite tech brand? If yes, what is it and will you buy the brand for your next device? Mm, my favorite tech brand is... Uh, oh, difficult. Okay, next question. <laughs> what... When are you going to upgrade your phone or computer? Uh, I will upgrade in every five years. Okay. What's your favorite app? My favorite app is YouTube. And will you open it before bed? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so. Okay. What is going to be more important in the future? Tech skills or communication skills? For me, tech skills are going to be more important. Good. What career do you hope to have? I Will it like, be primarily tech-based? Yes, I want to have a career in uh, technology. Uh, I want to become a computer programmer. Good. Are humans ever going to get computer implants in their bodies? Yes, they will. Good. What global problems will technological innovation solve? Mm, hopefully, uh, energy problem. Mm -hmm. Making everything into the electronic rather than using fossil. Mm, that sounds like a Superman movie. Yeah. Didn't turn out very well, that. Are the technological innovations going to make our lives better or worse overall in the next 50 years? I'm pro-technology, so I believe technological innovation is going to make our lives much better. Yeah, well, those are things to ponder, to think about. All right, so... Write your own answers. You can probably guess by now that the, these questions might pop up in the homework. 
So hopefully if you've watched the video, you've had some help. But if you need to for now, I hope you enjoyed Unit 3 and hope to see you for Unit 4 for now. Me too. Bye from me and bye from Yonghee. Bye. bye everybody. Bye bye.